Alright, I'm doing a quick video on the EGR valve uh, removal and clean on this 2014 Nissan Note 2 E12. This is the 1.5 DCI engine. First thing you're going to need to do is remove the air box. Pipe work. Um, access to the EGR valve because the EGR valve is don't know if you can see it it's this plug here is on the top of it so the EGR valve is there where I'm pointing so we need this out the way so we can get to it so I'm going to remove that simply undo this this pipe will pull off hold here Hold here, this pipe will just, it's just on a rubber grommet. Just pulls out. So I'll whip them off. There'll be a, there'll be a hold at the back here as well, once the bolts are out and that's undone and pulled off. Just a little bit of force and this will come out. Right, I've removed the bolts. Uh, I forgot to mention this has to come off the airflow meter. There's a little tab on the back here. All you do is press down and then pull. That'll come out like so. For this part, I'm just gonna lift the airbox up, pull out like so. Bit of a wiggle. Not easy one hand. Once the once the airbox is off, you'll be able to see better. The EGR valve is it's here. Removing that, ah, nothing is easy on this bloody thing. Access. We're going to have to remove. So we're going to have to take this off to get access. This bolt and this bolt. And this will just pull that tool. So we're going to remove that now. Get that out of the way. So we get access to the EGR valve just behind. Alright, so once that is off, you can just lift it out, tuck it aside, and you can see there's only two bolts holding this on. You've got one here, and there's one. I'm getting. Can I get in? There's another one at the back there. Two bolts, so once they're removed and this tab is pulled off. Once that's off, again just a little tab, you just push down and pull, it'll come out. Once them two bolts are off, sure, just lift straight off. Uh, I'll do that now, and I'll come back when I've got it off. <laughs> uh, a bit of a problem when you're trying to get onto this bolt, you can't get on, because this is in the way, so you've just simply got to um, pull this clip up with a screwdriver. Then the whole thing just pulled forward uh, off the turbo just so you can get access to that bolt. It's impossible to get in otherwise. Get that whipped off and the EGR valve should lift straight up uh, and out. Fingers crossed. Here we go. Right then, here we are. Finally getting it off. Um, it's only two bolts, but this hasn't been off for a long time as you can see. And it took quite a lot of persuading. So if you have the same problem, just keep pulling at it, uh, tapping at it if you have to, whatever it will come. There's only two bolts, I thought there was more holding it in, it was solid. But eventually I'm getting it. 
I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up. Don't forget this little gasket, right? When you pull the HR valve out, you can easily lose that gasket, so just be careful that it doesn't fall on the back of the engine. Um, I clean that up in there, get this cleaned up, and yeah, definitely needs doing. Okay, I'll come back when it's all clean. Right, folks, cleaned her up. It's not perfect, but it's a hell of a lot better than what it was. Um, reason for me doing this is the car developed a fault. Uh, basically, what was happening was it was hesitating in third, fourth, and fifth gear, um, as if there was no torque. It would get around two and a half thousand RPM and it would hold back, it wouldn't first and second gear would rev freely all the way through the rev range third, fourth and fifth it would hesitate um, around two and a half thousand RPM really struggle to get past that and pull back and hold back fault cord I yard yeah sorry about that guys knocked off fault cord was P1494 which was pointing to this EGR valve um, exhaust gas fault or something was coming up and looking at the state it was in I'm not surprised to yeah, can I get it get the focus it's a hell of a lot better now anyway so I'm going to go and put this back on the car um, let's see how it performs Right folks, put it back together and now I'm going to quickly scan it and delete any cords we have on there Cords found zero, it could just be my No, yes there is one, exhaust gas P0488 So We will erase cords It always says that, but it's a liar because there'll be no cords now. There you go. Now, take it for a test drive. Have a nice new freely there. Take it for a test drive and report back. But as I see it, the problem was it was getting to around 2500 2700 RPM in third, fourth, and fifth gear. And it was hesitating, holding back, like it wasn't boosting right, loss of power, feeling sluggish. Um, so if you have this problem, this should fix it, clean the EGR valve. Mine certainly needed it. I'm going to take it for a run now. And I'll report back, see how it went.